guys, what's up, your games here today? I'm gonna be showing you how to make an intro with Minimator and Windows Movie Maker. Now, it's actually pretty simple, but Minimator, I'm kind of expecting that you have you know basic movement and stuff like that in Minimator. If you don't, there'll be a series on how um like to work Minimator, but yeah. So let's open Minimator. Alright, now we're gonna full screen it. And here we go. Alright, so I don't know what we're doing. So what we're first gonna do is we're gonna add a character. And you can give it whatever skin you want. I'm gonna you use my own skin that I have, so alright, so there's my skin. And I'm gonna drop down here. Alright, so this is the view that my thing was at too, so that's if you're wondering. So now we're actually going to start animating it. So, I'm really hoping you guys actually know how to do this animator, because if you don't, you won't know how to do this at all. But yeah. So let's click right there and start a keyframe. Set a keyframe, and okay. Let's go to position, position, rotation. Alright. Now what I did in mine was I just made the walking animation. Hopefully you know how to do that. And if you don't, all you do is you drag forward like that. Right now you're starting right there. You go like you keep it like that. That's your first. No, you okay. That that sucked. Okay, you go to there, and now you're gonna drag it to where you want it to be. And then you're gonna go to the first frame. Um, uh, right click it. Click create walking animation the next frame. So if we click play here, it's gonna do a walking animation to where we showed it. But I that's a little too fast. So I'm gonna slow it down using the tempo here. That's better. Walk up. Alright, so let's go to the last keyframe. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to make a wave like I did. So to make the wave, you just use the reds right here. And if you guys don't have these, you just have you have to click on position and rotation and you'll have these. So now you're gonna click on this red and you can move the player you can move the arm so if you want to move the player that's like you can move back and forth like hello but let's go back to regular player alright so you're gonna go up here you're gonna click on whatever you want to move so I want to move my right arm it's gonna put it on here and then you use this red thing and go like that so you can move it like that so we're gonna start the first keyframe like that go like that so let's see how that works like this it's gonna walk up it's gonna start now let's change that let's put it back down and start on the next keyframe so this takes trial and error to move it but yeah so now we're gonna put where we want the next one to be we're gonna make it move up just a little bit we're gonna put the next keyframe we can move it up again gonna go to the next keyframe, move it up again, and you keep doing this until it's all the way up, okay, maybe it like that, oh, like that, okay, now we're gonna go right here, we're gonna make it go down just a little bit, and then go back up, and back down. Uh, if I get one more time, and we're gonna make it go completely down after that. So let's see how that works out. So this is what it looks like so far. So that looks pretty good. Let's check it. Picks it up, moves it down, and puts it down. And then that's practically what you do. But to make it longer, you just click another keyframe on a random spot, and that will make it longer. So I'm gonna put a couple, like a keyframe right there, and uh, put another one right there. So now let's just watch it one more time with put it over there. And note the text you don't do in here. You put that in Movie Maker, but it's actually pretty simple to do that. So all right, click. That and here you go. And walk in. Stand up. 
things like that, and it's extra long. All right, so we're what we're gonna do here is I am going to export as a probably going to export it as a movie. Hold on, let me see. So that's probably gonna lag a lot, but let me just. All right, so we're gonna go to export as movie. Do you want to save the animation first? Uh, yes, we will save it just in case it crashes. Just do YouTube intro thing. All right, and save. And it's going to do this scan. We're gonna do the YouTube intro. And we're gonna click save. And the codec. And for this, this is an important. Important. Use the Google VPA video codec. That's what you want to use. If you use something else, it will probably lag a lot. So we're gonna click OK. OK. And it's going to render the render it. It's probably gonna take a long time since I am not oh well okay well since i didn't do it but if i say do you want to open it uh no we do not so let's just exit out of this let me open movie maker movie maker you're going to want to open movie maker and we're going to add we're going to add let's do youtube you uh, okay da Show. Okay, we're gonna open that up. Wait for it to prepare it. All right, hey guys, I'm back. And so yeah, as we were saying before, we're gonna get the intro into Movie Maker. And what you wanna do is you're gonna go to where the player is up, standing about to wave. And you just go on the timeline and do that. Now you're gonna go. Now you're actually gonna click caption. You can move the caption anywhere. I'm quickly gonna save the project. And say yes. All right. Now we're gonna end, exit the text and do whatever you want. So visual games and yeah. So that that and you're just gonna let that go all the way to the other thing. And so let, let me save it. Wait, play it. Hopefully it won't crash. All right. See, he's walking up. He walks up. He's walk up. View games, hello. All right, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.